Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, Matt here from Flight Club. Unfortunately, Asan is not here today. He's on his way back to Vancouver, and I know Asan and I are competing for the craziest COVID hair. So, uh, really depends. Do you like Asan's afro, or do you like uh, my? I don't know what this is, but huge week for for Flight Club this week. I'm just at the Toronto Harbor front here watching the planes come into Island Airport. You can't really see anything landing right now, but it's uh, it's pretty nice out here and just plane watching as they come in. Uh, so yeah, uh, Flight Club this week, we became a COPA sponsor. So it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. We're partnering with COPA. We're hoping to get insurance going with them and uh, maybe get uh, policy where we can just onboard pilots to any airplane that is listed so that you guys don't have to worry about insurance or about um, having to find your own insurance or getting added onto a policy. So that uh, that is in the works right now and we're, we're pretty excited because I, I think that's going to happen fairly soon. Um, we also got our first two team members uh, this week for Flight Club, which is which is pretty good. Uh, we have Claudio that's joined us and Kay. Uh, Kay will be joining us a little bit later with, with the go-live. Um, Kay currently is doing some flight training. He is in London at Western, but I'll, I'll let him talk a little bit more about his, his knowledge and his experience. And uh, Claudio, as you know, was actually one of our flight club pilots. And uh, he has been flying with us for some time. He's shared a bunch of pictures. And uh, he's just really passionate about flight club, so we thought, why not? Why not bring him onto the team and uh, and let him help other other pilots uh, and owners experience what flight club's all about. Um, so yeah, so so far it's it's been pretty good. We onboarded another two airplanes this week, uh, one Cessna 172, which is in BC. Um, the nice thing about that is it actually ends up saving the pilots in BC a ton of money because the owner is going by tack time. So when you compare the pricing of his airplane compared to other airplanes listed in, in BC by flying schools, it's only about $10 an hour cheaper if you're thinking that it's Hobbs to Hobbs time. But uh, when you look at it from a tack time perspective versus Hobbs time perspective, it ends up being like $125 an hour compared to 150 plus tax in, in BC. So it's uh it's a great deal for pilots just join us time build it's in abbotsford bc at uh at the abbotsford airport there um we also added uh actually not yet but it's going to be listed tonight it's the beechcraft bonanza that we shared earlier this week so that it was coming soon it's uh coming tonight so we're super excited to have that it's a beautiful instrument flying aircraft uh, super fast. I believe the cruise of that air aircraft is like 160, 170. Um, it is retractable landing gear, so it's a little bit more of an experienced aircraft. Um, so there is a bit more of a checkout uh, that the owner would want to see. But uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be great. We're just continuing to grow, continuing to add planes, and uh, continuing to add pilots. So join us uh, fly. It's going to be, it's going to be cheaper for you. It's going to be better for the owners. Um, overall, just a win-win situation. So for, for me as an airplane owner this week, it was actually a, a pretty tough week. Um, I took my airplane in for an oil change because I was super busy and I didn't have time to do the oil change myself. Um, and I found out that there were issues with the alternator. Uh, so the wrong belt was on the airplane and one of the bolts was broken on the alternator. But luckily for me, uh, one of my pilots that I have through Flight Club, he is an aviation mechanic. So instead of having to spend, I think the quote was $4,000 um, to get all of this repaired, he is helping me out and, uh, and teaching me what... Uh, what to do um, but he's going to help me out and sign off on it and uh, it saves me a ton of money like not only does listing my airplane and flying it with flight club uh, help me cover the costs but 
I'm just fortunate that one of the pilots that's flying my airplane is also an AME and uh, an awesome guy. Um, we'll, we'll be doing an interview with him probably next week or in, in one of the coming weeks just to, to talk about his journey and uh, what it's like as an aviation mechanic and why he ended up switching to, um, to flying instead. But uh, he's, he's a fantastic guy. Um, so yeah, we, it's, it's been, it's been a lot, but it's, it's been really, really good. And, uh, hopefully Kay is going to join us shortly as well. Um, but yeah, do you, do you have any questions? Like what, what can we do as, as Flight Club to make, to make it better as a platform? Um, let us know in the comments. Um, Hassan, what's up, man? Good to, good to see you. Um, Kay is just joining us now. I'm just going to. He's, uh, he's connecting right now. Hey, oh. Kay, what's up, man? How are you? Sorry, Sorry I hope I didn't uh, interrupt you at a bad time or anything like that. No, no, not, not at all. I'm, uh, I'm here on the harbor front, and it's, uh, it's a beautiful night. Uh, we've got a few people with us. Um, yeah, no, but yeah, well, welcome day. to the team. We're, we're excited to have you. We're excited to get going. And uh, I know you're going to be a great support to owners and pilots that, that join us. Well, um, tell me a little bit about yourself, Kay. Why'd you Why'd you want to join? Well, I think um, every. Well, I think uh, first of all, when I joined, uh, for, uh, sorry. I wonder if you can hear me okay. So, yeah, I can. I can hear you now. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think it was the experience. Uh, flying with one of the planes uh, in your fleet. Um, and mm -hmm. the whole experience was, was so easy and, um, uh, and very affordable as well. And for a, a time building pilot like me, it was, um, it was extraordinary um, to have that experience. And um, I wanted more people to enjoy um, the same thing that I did, so. I think that's the biggest thing. Like with Flight Club, you're not restricted by time rules or time constraints as long as the plane's available like go flying take it wherever you want to go and just hang out that's what that's what aviation's all about like fly somewhere new chill for the day and and enjoy aviation as opposed to being like oh god the next booking's in half an hour and i gotta get back yeah i think um because i train with a uh, a flight school with very uh, mm -hmm. tight schedules um i think Having that experience flying to a new airport and spending a day, um, you know, exploring the city, um, it was it was a part of uh, Canadian ge general aviation that I haven't experienced, um, even though I had my private uh, pilot's license before. So I think um, experiences like this are, are really important. Yeah, and like the, the other part is, is right now in aviation, it's probably one of the worst times to, to get into aviation. Like every single airline is shut down. Um, flight schools are, are doing okay, but it's also like masked in every airplane and, uh, time restrictions and it's, it's hard right now. Like costs are, costs are high for aviation. So every, every dollar that you can save, like I know, um, some of the pilots in our app on average are saving like $40 per, per flight hour. So like when you're, when you're thinking you have to build 200 hours to get your commercial license and, and get going, um, it's, it's a lot of money. Oh yeah, for sure. And um, yeah, aviation, like even without uh, the whole coronavirus, um, aviation itself is, is a very expensive um, hobby or profession. So, um, yeah. you know, services like this will be a great uh, saver for, for a lot of people, I think. So, hey, okay, tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, what do you, what do you currently do? I talked about you briefly, but uh let, let our fans know we've got seven people watching here and you were getting a ton of hearts on the side there as soon as you joined. No one gave me any hearts, but uh, they must like no. you a little bit better. Uh, no, no, no. I, they're all, I, I think, all my friends there. Um, well, uh, I'm currently enrolled in the Commercial Aviation Management Program at Western, um, and I'm currently working towards uh, my bachelor's degree in management as well as um completing my uh, icpl certificate um which includes uh the private pilot's license night rating uh cpl and multi-ifr i believe um awesome 
And so uh, j just working away, um, we were delayed by a couple of months uh, due to COVID. So we're, uh, we're catching up now, trying to finish our uh, commercial pilot's license. Doing as much flying as you can, because soon the weather is going to gonna turn for the worst. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, winter, like, we don't get a lot of uh, hours just because um, the weather isn't the best in London. <laughs> um, we're stuck in the snow belt, so, you know, we get to fly maybe, if we're lucky, two to three times a week. Um, so, yeah. um, flight training in Canada is, is a little hard, uh, but... Um, you know, it's not like uh, Arizona or uh, uh, wherever Embry Riddle is. Uh, like it, I think like Daytona Beach. So yeah, um, yeah, it's it's not as easy, but we're we're up there. <laughs> we're up there. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely challenging here here in Canada, but hopefully soon we we will be expanding into the states. Like we've we've had a ton of uh, ton of inquiries already. Just uh, mm -hmm. just asking. Hey, when are when are you coming to the states? So, um, it it'll be it'll be good. Yeah, for but sure. yeah, like I, I'm super super excited to have you and and Claudio. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. I think you guys will be a huge support to to both pilots and owners um, as we continue to grow. Um, but yeah, just reach out. Let us know what what you guys want from from Flight Club and uh, what we can do to make flying as easy as possible and how we can reduce costs even further. We're working on a couple of things, but uh, they're, they're coming shortly. Yeah, of course. And we're, we're very happy to be here and we're uh, very honored. Um, I think this is a really exciting uh, plat platform for, uh, and it's going to be a big thing for pilots, I think. Definitely. Perfect. Guys, thank you. Thank you so much for joining our Go Live. Um, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or even our YouTube. We'll post this there too. Um, subscribe, like us, any, any sort of sharing that you can do, any sort of following that you can do to help us continue to grow. Um, it helps for a small Canadian startup, and uh, we're just trying to make the avian, aviation community better and more connected. So uh, chat soon. Um, we'll hopefully have uh, a cool go live for you guys next week. Um, we've done a couple of, uh, of interesting ones, one with uh, Culver Props, uh, one with uh, Bush Pilot up north, so check those out too if you're if you're on our Instagram or our our uh, YouTube channel. There's a lot of cool content, and we're we're just getting started, so uh, can't wait to see you guys flying, and uh, hope to save you guys all some money. Yep, for sure. Hey, thanks, thanks for, for joining me. Man. I'll, uh, no problem. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> have a have a good night. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You too. Have a wonderful night right. at the beach or uh, at the harbor front. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.